Yeah, it was, uh, once again, as always, thanks for coming out. I'm um, glad we could uh, put on a show for you guys and keep you on the edge of your sheets. seats. Um, you know, you guys were unbelievable tonight. It hasn't been like that in a, in a long time, that loud. Um, you know, people were on their feet, and it was it was something special. And I think that's the way it should be when when the number one team in the in the um, WCHA comes into your building and uh, you're on the verge of a sweep. So um, thank you to you guys and kudos. Appreciate it. The first goal there looked like you made a pretty good play on the blue line to keep the puck alive and then got the puck on net. Uh, could you just just talk about that play and, and how you saw it develop? Uh, the puck was just uh, bouncing back to me and I just wanted to get it by the guy so I threw it wide of the net and it happened to hit someone and uh, end up in front and be buried. So it's good having guys go into the net like we have lately. Brandon, uh, you guys were tied going in, in, into uh, the third period there. Like, uh, how, how were you guys able to uh, come through and uh, um, come out with the win? Uh, we've been playing good all weekend, so we just kind of had the same message. Just win the first couple shifts and go from there. You can't look too past it. You just got to play shift by shift, and that's what we did. Coach, this is for you. Um, not too long ago, you guys were like second to last, and 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 not not to bring up bad, bad memories, but you know it seems like since Huntsville, you guys really turned it on. What's the like? What what has been the key to your guys' success lately? Um, I think it's been. Uh, I think the turnaround started. You're right in Huntsville. We got some goal scoring there. Um, we scored 12 that weekend, and then we scored what 14 the next weekend, and. And I think it was a, a belief thing. Everybody kind of bought in, um, and it's really been after, since after Christmas. Um, guys have kind of bought into to everything we've been we've been preaching, um, and everybody's pulling the same way or on the same sheet of music, uh, whatever cliche you want to use. Um, it's it's a team game, and we're playing like a team. They, they, they announced out there that obviously you guys you guys did clinch a spot in postseason play. I mean, is that enough to satisfy the Alaskan Annex? Certainly not, Schwartzy. You guys want to touch on that one? Yeah. Um, we started playing playoff hockey against Huntsville, and we're not going to stop until well, hopefully the national championship. But yeah. we've been playing desperate uh, ever since then, and we're not going to stop. And that's what we need to do. And if we do that, uh, right now it seems like we won't be beat. So, what was the key to your guys' penalty kill tonight, Josh? Um, I think just being aggressive and making them uncomfortable uh, whenever pucks are loose or whenever a guy's isolated, just uh, going aggressive and uh, forcing them to make mistakes. And then for you, Brandon, coming out of the box, is, is that a read that you make, whether to go to the bench or, or to stay out? I'm, I'm talking about the, your goal there. Is, is that a read that you make? Uh, well, I shouldn't have been there in the first place. But, uh, <laughs> <laughs> I think it was uh, Michael Quinn who uh, chipped it out, and I was fortunate enough to be in stride coming out of the box and just kind of took it from there and gained the blue line and heard Kunit calling for the puck so anytime you give him the puck it's not a bad play <laughs> and uh, I actually thought he was going to shoot it but he fed me the open net and there was no way I could miss. You got one more regular season weekend and it, it's a pretty big regular season weekend so just talk to us about how the momentum from both this weekend and uh, the last few weeks pour into one of the biggest weekends of the year. I mean, as a freshman, you kind of heard it all year about the Gov Cup, and as I was being recruited here, you heard about the Gov Cup, and I watched the games last year online, and uh, we played two games in Anchorage, and we had a pretty good crowd there from Fairbanks, so you know how important it is to us and the community and stuff like that, so especially uh, we're battling for home ice, not just the Gov Cup, and so these games are just as important as every, every, every other game this year. Um. I think that uh, we just got to keep learning from what we've uh, done the last few weeks and not get too high. Just uh, keep doing everything that we've done to be successful the last few weekends.